Hello, my loves. I hope you're doing well. I hope you can hear me well and see me well. I actually decided to take today's video outside. So I'm I'm sitting from uh, the Murray here at Cafe Noir, uh, the new Cafe Noir that is at uh, Merci. Merci is actually one of my favorite shopping locations here in Paris. Um, it's in the Murray. It's on Boulevard Beaumarchais. It's kind of like a concept store. Um, lots that I can say about Merci. It's uh, it's just a vibe. So um, I decided that um, for today's uh, video, I wanted to go a little bit into the book project, the kickstart, the Kickstarter crowdfunding, and just to break a lot of things down from like as much as I can from A to Z. Um, I'm going to be looking at my notes from time to time to make sure that I don't miss anything that you guys need to know. Um, so I'm going to start with a little bit about myself. So my name is Unique, Unique Francis. Um, I'm a tour guide here in Paris. I've been living in Paris for 17 years. Believe it or not, like, oh my God, time flies. Um, I actually started the blog, I'd say, 15 years ago. I was working in tech. Long story short, I kept taking like all these amazing photos just on my whatever version of the iPhone that I had back then. And my coworkers were like, you should just write a food blog. Um, and I was just like, no, ain't nobody got time for that. Um, but I did it anyways. <laughs> so shout out to my coworkers for, you know, giving me the push to do that. But it was also a great opportunity to share a life in Paris. So I moved to Paris from New York. Um, I'm Jamaican born and when I when I moved to Paris I just thought so many things were super fascinating first of all that we actually literally had time to have lunch right and, and really good lunches um, and the idea of like a tiki restaurant which is like a, a vulture that you can use at like lots of restaurants um, and boulangerie and even at the supermarket to get food like that was so fascinating to me I'm just like oh my god we get paid to eat um, we're having fun eating and we have the time to eat and there's all these amazing uh, restaurants and also just all these amazing dishes that I was discovering about France like the coffee canna um, the super l'oignon and then like just life in general and I started to also take photos of my outfits and yada yada this was even before Instagram was a thing like Instagram did not even exist back then um, and then you know fast forward to a few years later the blog really took off people really enjoyed my weekly take on what was going on in Paris um, and also like what's new at the time I think around 2014 I started to also focus a lot on coffee shops I was just like oh my god like we don't have good coffee shops here like the coffee is so bad um, and so I started to focus as well on coffee shops I started to do lots of coffee meetups which were monthly opportunities for people who were new to Paris to come uh, hang with other people who are new to Paris but also people who wanted to kind of have a consistent community and group of friends with similar interests right so that was the idea of the coffee meetup and I did the coffee meetups for like four years and then it really started to become sort of exhausting I didn't know how to to scale that and to also just keep my own work-life balance and so I stopped with the coffee meetups and just, you know focused on myself and my my entrepreneurial life and, and all of that but still something that I would really love to do and probably will do here and there in the future is the coffee meetups because I met so many amazing people um, and it really helped to you know also like bridge the gap between being someone who's constantly online first of all starting off with the blog and then um, transition into like Facebook and then transition into Instagram and um, I really missed this this like interpersonal contact that was like super physical um, because believe it or not like being I mean back then we didn't really call ourselves content creators we just called ourselves bloggers but it's just one of those worlds where it's kind of like it's very you're very cut off from just the rest of the world really because you spend so much time like writing and creating these stories and etc etc anyways long story short that was how my Parisian life started right and at the time I was working for a tech company I had started also uh, on the side my wedding planning business so I have lots of experience in marketing event planning um, that has helped me to in just many different areas of my life really um, and then fast forward to the idea for the book when I started to do tours I just was super excited to share 
like the local parts of Paris, like what are the parts of Paris that someone who, like even someone who might even have been to Paris many, many times, um, they might not even know a lot about what's going on in the 18th over by like La Villette, or they might not know what's going on over by like the canal. And I, I kept seeing that over and over, and I'm just like, this is so natural to me. Like, I literally cycle around Paris every single day. I literally live inside like wine bars and restaurants and coffee shops and museums and, and boutiques and, and thrift stores and go to the flea market all the time. And so my life is really like this this book actually. And so I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna put all of this in a book. So the idea came and it took literally four years to put everything together because, you know, life happens. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the details of everything that happened, but I think it was also very intentional for me wanted to create this book with an energy of joy and so if there was something happening in my life where I was just like oh my god I'm too stressed out right now or this is really shitty or whatever I would pause I would literally pause on the book so uh, I can assure you the energy of this book is, is joyful it's beautiful it's colorful um, and then yeah going into the details of the book so we're we're looking at 12 of my favorite neighborhoods here in Paris. If you know anything about Paris, you know that Paris is broken down into arrondissements. And we have um, 20 different arrondissements in the shape of like an escargot, right? What I wanted to do was kind of flip everything on its head and be like, you know what? Well, a lot of the ways that I actually discover Paris with my friends is not necessarily by arrondissement, but by neighborhoods. Like we're like, let's meet in Le Marais, let's meet in Montmartre, let's go over to the canal. So we use these terms, which are neighborhoody terms, right? Obviously we can sometimes and still do say the 18th or the 11th, which are the arrondissement. And so I really wanted to have this be the focus of the book. Like what are some of the best places to eat, drink, stay, wander and discover um, in 12 of my favorite neighborhoods, right? So that's what the book is about we start out with like an introduction to every neighborhood let's take my neighborhood for example so we start with Momat we have what is Momat a little bit about the history what's going on and then we also have like these beautiful photos that I've taken of um, you know some of the places that you'd expect to find in Momat like uh, Sacre Coeur but also a lot of like the hidden streets and the back streets and the local hangouts um, someone's passing by on a uh, skateboard and uh, yeah. and then we go into like a highlighted section of each neighborhood so for Montmartre I wanted to highlight my section of uh, Montmartre because lo lots of various reasons I'm gonna let you guys once we get on a Q&A together um, let you guys ask me all the questions that you want to ask me about my particular neighborhood which is La Goutudo, which is you know a lot of English speakers here we, we refer to it as like the little Africa of Paris it's kind of like the black neighborhood in Paris but also over time has gotten a bad rep so I really wanted to show people that this area is so rich with uh, with color with flavors with um, creativity and so that's a highlight for the Momat uh, section and then uh, there's a, a section that's dedicated to food. You know, where are the places that you're gonna have a coffee, uh, lunch, dinner, uh, cocktails. Um, and then we go into, if you were to wander around the neighborhood or what are some of the places that are not to be missed in this neighborhood from a local perspective, but also from like, okay, maybe this is your first time in Paris and you do wanna go see Sacre Coeur you can see Sacre Coeur but just behind Sacre Coeur there's this place there's that place like so it, the idea is I'm not telling you not to do any of like the touristy things I feel like I still do a lot of the touristy things like I still take the like every single year no joke we do the boat ride in Paris because I just love it I love I, I, I'm, I'm like an eternal kind of traveling tourist in my own city right but I also feel like there's so much um, that can be shared and said for alternative Paris and so I kind of mix both worlds really in this book and that's what I'm so proud of. I'm very, very excited to, to share this uh, with you and each book also has a list of addresses to every single location and place that's in the book. Um, we have like a typical day. What would a typical day if you wanted to wander around the neighborhood? There's an itinerary for a typical day. Um, and it's just really, it's a really fun book because it's 
most of the the chapters you know the 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 way that i wanted to write it was not to be like okay so here's all the history about that da, 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 da. that's a lot of stuff we can really find on google right but it's also to be like okay why is it that i like the face and, and so if you like uh artisanal coffee here's where i think you should go um if you like wandering to small museums here's what i think you should go so it's really also about like mixing in a lot of like the cool aspects of uh paris that makes paris charming and so um traditional historical yes um but just you know like an amazing place to really sink into like the savoir vivre and the joie de vivre and um you know i think a lot of my personality comes through the book because i think you know i'm I, I'm, I like to share the joy. <laughs> um, if anything, I think I'm just like a, I'm a very happy by nature person, and I've crafted my life around that. Like uh, I, I'm a tour guide, and I, I focus on fun one-on-one customizable tours, um, specialized to like the interests and the needs of my my clients, right? Because I know so much about like if you're interested in architecture, if you're interested in food, da, 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 like. Um, I'm, I'm just like super interested in life and passionate about so many things that I really wanted to show this as well and share this in the book so that was that's what the book is about so the book is amazing it's over 400 pages it's done it's written um, we're just the just few final touches um, that needs to be done and then sent to print the last stage is your help in bringing this book to life um, I decided to do self-publish for various reasons. Um, I was trying to do the traditional publishing route, didn't work out, and then I said, you know what, um, I believe that this is a sign and that maybe I'm going to just lean into my community and see see where we go from here. And I believe in us. So let's see where this goes. Right now, as of today, we're what the 9th of July and we're already at 30%. We have seven more days to get to 100% of our goal. The goal is 10,000 for the printing, for the final printing and putting the books in your hands, in bookstores. Um, in, in libraries just to get it out there. I'm super excited. I'm going to be shipping um, all over the world. Uh, you can also donate if, you, if you're like, oh, well, I'm, I don't care about that, but I really want to support your project. You can donate just one euro. Um, there's a support section on the Kickstarter page. And um, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about the tiers. So the tiers are like the different categories of awards that you get for supporting the, the campaign. Obviously, you can uh, you can buy the book. The book is 27 euros, and it's going to be available to you as soon as we print. It's going to be shipped to you with a thank you note from myself, from yours truly. Um, there's an option to also have the book and a My Parisian Life tote bag, and that's uh, 57 euros. We also have an option to have your name in the book and get a call from you. If you're planning on coming to Paris and you'd love some help to plan your trip, right? I mean, I'm a travel planner you get the book you get a call with me so you can plan your trip you get your name in the book and that's 157 euros and then if you were even thinking about doing a tour with me anyways this is a great opportunity to do a tour and get a book because there's a package for that um, and then our highest uh, reward is um, the tour for two people um, your name in the book and yeah just time with me one-on-one -on -one time uh when you get to paris to really discover what is local paris about um yeah <laughs> so let me just look at my notes to make sure that i haven't forgotten anything but i think that's good um one last thing if you love this project and you've already supported it please feel free to share the love you know share it with your friends and, and family share it with anyone that you think might even have a community focused on francophones francophiles um yeah i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited to to feel it touch it and get it in your hands get it in your hearts it's really kind of out of my hands right now to be honest um i I wrote it with so much um, enthusiasm and love and joy and it was definitely a pleasure like testing out all of these um, places and making sure that I have like these very beautiful photos um, and no one like there's so many people or places that are in this book and no one paid to be in it actually no one even know no one knows who's in the book except for myself and maybe like a few friends and my editor um, so it's one of those things where it's 
yeah, it's like, it's really authentic. It's really authentic. And I really want you to have an authentic, beautiful experience from this book and from Paris. So go ahead. I feel like this video is getting super long. Um, my coffee is cold now. <laughs> mm. But I thank you so much for your support. Um, you can find more information on the Kickstarter page. Remember, you can also email me, myparisianlife at gmail.com. I thank you so much. Sending you lots of love. Bisous. Bye.